just a quick announcement before we start the episode. On June 12th, Car Cat Day at 2 p.m. Central Time, Moosey, Justin, Dami, and I are going to get together, meet up live in person, and we're going to be doing a live Q&A. We'll also just be generally chatting, and maybe uh, Dami and I will flex our voice acting muscles and uh, do some line reading. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, I have a form that's linked in the show notes. Also, you can just email jacksyax at gmail.com. You can join the Discord, also linked in the show notes. Or, you know, if you get there while we're still going, then you can ask a question there. The recording will be saved on our YouTube, which is youtube.com slash at livelaughstuck. And the stream will be happening on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Amberlin. Uh, all of that will be in the show notes as well for easy clickability. So, you know, mark it in your calendars if you can come hang out. Uh, it'll be It'll be a lot of fun. And, um, I hope to see you there. This will be our, our first time, all of us meeting up in person. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. See you then, June 12th, 2 p.m., live Q&A. And welcome back to Live Laugh Stuck. This is Jackie, aka Jax, and I am here once again with Dami and Justin. And I almost said Moosey. Moosey's not here. And you know what that means? It's time for more ship tier ratings. Actually, this could mean like any number of things. These are my buds. We could talk about other shit. <laughs> we do talk about other shit. I mean, we do actively on these episodes and others. Um, yeah. <laughs> No, it's true. I mean, like, we'll have to be careful that this doesn't turn into not Homestuck, to be frank. It will. It will. It will. It's as, we, as we research these names, it will turn into not Homestuck. <laughs> Every time. Every time. Um, well, these are long enough, so let's, let's, let's get the fuck into it. Okay. Okay. What do we have first? First okay. up. Okay, we have Roxy and Mina as Dreamers and the Dead. Uh. I don't get it. Yeah, neither do I. I don't. Okay, okay. Uh, so I know, I know we talked about how we had to redo this one because of a recording issue, but I thought we had, I thought we did this, uh, this name in the first fucking episode because I, I, I remember editing it. And I remember realizing that I had gotten the MCR uh, lyrics wrong, and I combined the MCR lyrics with Kermit the Frog lyrics. <laughs> um, that not ringing a bell? No, that, that rings a bell. I just, I don't know. I don't remember when that happened. I just remember that it happened. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the first episode. Are we just doing this again? Hold on, let me let me let me look at some stuff because I know that it's the last thing we did. Yeah, last episode. I mean, I can also look on my website if you go to okay, it is livelaughstuck dot com slash ship dash names. Uh, that's where the list of all the ship names will be going through, and then all the um, portmanteau. Portmanteau. We had this conversation. I can't remember which one. Portmanteau. Uh, yeah, Portmanteau. We're all the all the fucking all the fucking shits on on that that I have found and I I add to it sometimes. So I can actually Okay, so John Roxy was savior of the dreamers. Yeah. That's the one. Okay, cuz the MCR lyrics are savior of the broken, the dreamers and the damned. And then the Kermit the Frog lyrics are the lovers, the dreamers, and me. And I'm, I've, I smooshed them. Yep. That still said, doesn't make sense to me. I, I'm not saying that that's necessarily where they got it from. I'm just saying that's what my brain decided it's from. I say F. 
I say D because there is something to it. They meet when when they're in when uh Roxy's dreaming and Mina is dead and tries to make Roxy dead as well for fun. Yeah, I'll also give it a D. It's like a really low D. Yeah. Sure. Okay, fine. D. Um I just like get it, it whenever I see it, it's just it, bad. It makes the tiniest, tiniest bit of sense. And yeah. that's it. That's that's it. That's it. It's sure. bad. Dreamers in the Dead gets a D. I was trying to make some joke about how there's already two D's in there. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen. Dave I don't know. and Jade as space time. They sure are, bud. Yeah? They sure the fuck are. Correct. I should have put these on. I should have put this I was in reverse to, order. <laughs> I was about to say, is uh, uh, Dave's on the, the left and uh, Jade is on the right in all of her high res glory. And uh, so, like, the Smooth colors, Jade. it's, like, red into green from space to time. And it's fucking me up. Like, this is some aspect swap <laughs> AU. Uh, I, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's clean and concise, but it doesn't really fit them, I think, other than aspects. Yeah, yeah I, I will say, I think that if I saw this as a ship name, there's not... This would be the first place my brain would go, and I think that there is something to be said about that. Because, like, while it theoretically could apply to, like, you know, Kanaya, Aradia, or whatever, right? That's not... That's... That's just... This is the most popular version of this aspect combination. And yeah. I, I, I don't think that you could realistically make the argument that people would be generally using this for some other ship. Right. It's like Pepsi Cola. Yeah, there's other blue red combinations, but Pepsi Cola is John Dave. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know. C? I, C? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go C. Okay. Space Time gets a C. I'll never get over High Res Jade. It's just, it fits her so, <laughs> it's so well. It's good. It's of so good. Of all the characters who could be that high res, it's like. <laughs> supposed to be jade <laughs> yeah right. yeah because she is the weird one she breaks all the patterns this yeah. has always been her thing did Here's you thing. stick something I'd in your it? mouth while recording no oh it sounded like you no. had something like a the answer is yes the answer okay. is yes i'm lying <laughs> <laughs> it's out now <laughs> that's fine it was just like i have the urge to do that all the time uh, tentacle shipping. D. Who is it? Rosen for fairy. My bad. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, listeners. I, I also I also agree. D. Yeah. It, eh. It's correct. It's that's about it. I I I I think I'll say for it the same as the last one, which is that like I don't see who else you'd be looking at with this. Yeah. So I just wouldn't it's... think for fairy. I would sit there and think, who else? Okay, Rose, I get who else would that be? Really? And I just wouldn't think for fairy. I guess that's fair. Like yeah. I get it. Like after it's like, oh yeah, for fairy, of course. But I just wouldn't think about it. Maybe because I don't think about for fairy, and maybe that's a me problem. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> No one thinks about Fafari, <laughs> sure. according to my homesick polls. It's fine. I'm, we, I'm tempted to say C, but like I'm not gonna argue about it, you know. Okay, in that case, it gets a D. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy and Dirk as Neo Rails. Meow Rails. Meow Rail. It's probably Neo no. because of the no. future and shit. But I yeah. like Meow Rails. I, hmm, I, I also kind of like it because it's like, it's like they're, if you're gonna ship them pale, right? Like, if you're gonna, yeah. if you're gonna do that, then that does, like, they do have you the whole- You got the cat girl and you got the horse boy. They, and they, they have the- <laughs> <laughs> It's true. You make a damn good point. 
And they do have the whole thing where they're like, because of the specific future that they're from, they also have some of the troll romance shit yeah. in them already. Yeah. Because yeah. the Condes was like trying to remake troll romance on Earth or whatever. So it is like a, a neo troll romance or whatever, right? Mm, okay, yeah. You make a really good argument with with uh, introducing troll romance to humans pre-game. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I am going to derail for a second because I uh, got a fic and a fic swap that was um, uh, Dirk Dave Carcat and Dirk and Carcat end up getting into like a little side argument about how quadrants work and how it works in books and movies versus how it works in the real world. And because Dirk was in the future where he was like surrounded with how quadrants and shit worked. So it's fun. I like Dirk thinking about troll relationships. That is interesting. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's his get? B? Yeah, I'm I'm saying B, I think. Yeah. You okay. talked me up kinda into where it. I, it's yeah. not, it's not where I'm at too. perfect. Like, I don't think that unless you had heard the explanation you would look at this and be immediately Roxy Dirt, but I like it a lot. It's a compelling yeah. explanation, I think. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's got a couple different layers. Again, my simple layer, cat girl. With <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Neil Rails gets, gets a B. Aradia and Tavros as Bullfrog. We've rated these types of names pretty low up until now, right? Like, we this have. is D level. He, he is a bull. She was a frog. Can I make it any more <laughs> obvious that this is a D? <laughs> D. D. Full frog gets a D. Do you ever stop and think about how fucking heavy Tavros's horns are? Like, he's got to be so top heavy. Right. He's so top heavy, like his neck muscles must be insane, like his upper back strength. I bet he fell a lot as a kid, but never bonked his head into a coffee table because his horn stopped it. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think I think that probably his his fucking horns have more to do with why he's always falling downstairs than like the fact that he's still adjusting <laughs> to his robot legs. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, Jade and Fafari as uh, the Dreamers. I got a sneak peek of this one. Searching up that uh ship name. There are three with Dreamers in the name. Uh, so this is right. the third. We have already established that in the Dreamers and the Dead. Uh, God, no, because Fafari does. Dr There's too many people that dream in Homestuck. Well, Fafari created I mean, all the dream bubbles. <laughs> so to me, Fafari gets it because Fafari uh, convinced or had the horror terrors create the dream bubbles and told Jade about it. Like, yeah, and Jade is, like, the first dreamer in Homestuck. I do think that both yeah. of these characters have a compelling uh, claim to this title, right? Yeah, like, Aradia right. is more about the dream bubbles, but not because she dreams, she's just into dead things. I... I'm just not drawn in by it. <laughs> nah, it's still a D. I was trying to talk myself up to a C, but yeah, yeah, that sucks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Dreamers is a D. Aradia and Solix as Honey Maid. What do we think about this? Uh, C. I just technically I don't know. true, but like a d yeah, a D. In principle, I'm also, I should give I'm, it a D, but I just kind of like it. I'm I'm also thinking, why do you like it? I don't know, man. I don't even like graham crackers that much. <laughs> They're just a vehicle for s'mores. <laughs> which are. is just a vehicle for chocolate, because I don't care about marshmallows that much. Oh, okay, that's, but, that's but, where we got to fight. The chocolate's <laughs> a vehicle for the marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, like, we care about warm marshmallows. I guess. It's fine. 
Uh, Honey Maid gets a D. Okay. Yeah. Thank you to fight you. I just kind of like it. Catfish. And Fafari as Catfish. What is wrong with me today? With a K. With a K. With a K. So you, it's not Nepeta and Fafari. Or Nepeta and uh, Aridin. Or Carcat and Aridin. It's a D. Yeah. Yeah, that's the D. real problem yeah. here. It's a D. Catfish is a D. Am I not on the right? There We're we almost doing lightning rounds. We're doing like... <laughs> Holy yes, bastard. because they're 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 bad. They're bad. This is this is just another food one. D. Yeah, D. Yeah. Move on. Wait. Okay. Hold up. Sorry. Red oranges. Tavros and Carcat. <laughs> You're right, right. We should do that. <laughs> I've been the one messing yeah, that up. You can't let me be the one to take control here. <laughs> can't let you take control on your own show. No, <laughs> that's why I have both of you. <laughs> we're hosting right the show for you you're Always. just the best <laughs> red red oranges gets a d it's like if i'm if if someone's hanging out with me and they can drive then they're driving my car it's no longer my car to drive i'm not a driver in this 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 vehicle it's the same with my podcast i think this would have been like a d plus if it was blood oranges Ooh, yeah. I'll give it that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can't give this still that. A, still a D either way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, classic, classic, classic. John, <laughs> John and Carcat as communism. <laughs> this gets a high rating just for being classic. Uh, yeah. I mean... Also it's, pretty clear. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very funny. Like, it gets a high rating for being funny to say. I ship yeah. communism. Yeah. Look, I've said it before on this podcast. I'll say it again. God, I can't believe I used to fucking ship communism. <laughs> what do you mean used to? It's the past tense that's offensive. <laughs> it's because I don't really ship anything. Well, then they're still on hold and you still ship them, just not actively. You're not a practicing <laughs> shipper. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Saying you used to ship something makes it feel like it's an active decision to no longer ship them instead of you're just like, eh, eh, I don't really no, ship. No, it's just, like, I just, I just don't. Like they offended ship... you in some way. No, 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 no. I just like. Do you hate grew communism? Grew out of shipping things. I. <laughs> that's a loaded <laughs> question right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, S this is fucking good. S, S, A or A or S? Yeah, S tier. Communism. I, think, I, th I uh, hmm. I'm okay. Hold on. Now no. I actually have to figure out whether I'm on the A or the S side. No, oh. but you already said S. Can you take it back? Okay. Yeah, I think it's S. I think it's S. Okay. All right. Communism gets an S. Yeah. Aradia and Carcat as swearing on the grave. I I guess it's I a don't... reference to like okay. I swear on my grandmother's grave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. because Carcat says fuck and Aradia yeah. is dead. And into dead things. I guess. D. D. D, okay. Yeah. Cool. Swearing on the grave gets a D. I don't know. I just imagine Carcat standing on top of her and saying "fuck." <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rose's mom and uh, the Dolorosa as mothership. I think it's fun. It's fun. I kind of, I kind of like this in in not a it makes a lot of sense way, but just in whimsy. Yeah, that's it. It's got the whimsy. Yeah. I'd give it a B. B on whimsy. If the psionic was also here. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> uh, 
I still, if the psionic was here, it would be an S on Whimsy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But this yeah. is a B on Whimsy. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with B. Yeah, I, I also, I will, I'll agree. Mothership gets a B. I like Mom's design so much. Mom looks great. Mm-hmm. Fucking Jetson's ass design. Aradia and Tavros is Team Charge. Not a chip name. Was literally just a team name. Yeah. I think he gets a C. Like, yeah, I'll give it a C. Like, okay, uh, okay. No, 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 no. Hear me out. Hear me okay. out on this, Justin. Okay? Because, like, if somebody walks up to you and says, I ship Team Charge, you know what that means. I do. I do know what that means. And it's like... Assuming that I've read that part of Homestuck recently, because I actually don't know most of the teams. Sure. I mean, there's only Team Charge and the Scourge Sisters. Yeah. There's the two. I guess the red team and the blue team, if you want to get real specific. When When I haven't read Homestuck in a while, and you come and ask me who Team Charge is, I'm like, I don't have a goddamn clue. I don't know. Fake fan. I don't know what to tell you. I am a fake fan. That's a you problem. I don't know. I think it's nice. Okay. I like it. Yeah, I say C. Yeah. Okay, Team Charge gets a C. It's nothing special. It's good. For Charge. Because he's a bull. Yeah. And she's a ram. And she's a ram. She's a ram. Unless she's a frog. Then she's a rog fram. Fram rog. <laughs> <laughs> That shouldn't have been as funny as it was. (laughs) I think it should have been because I did do it on accident. (laughs) Uh, John and Tavros's breath bros. Bad. Rufio's not here. True. Any ship without Rufio is a bad ship, I guess, is the thing I said. (laughs) (laughs) Any ship where Rufio could be in it and isn't is a bad ship. It's probably true. I love Rufio. I don't think Rufio's been in any of our S tiers. No, but <laughs> I love him anyway. He's a hot, terrible little man. He's a fuck boy. And I objectify him. As you should. As Anyway, Breath does. Bros. D? D. D. D no Rufio. It, I don't I don't remember what we gave Breath Play, but this is worse. <laughs> oh, Breath Play was good, right? Like we liked Breath Play. Yeah. I like Breath Play. We all mm-hmm. like breath play. Let's be real. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, I don't Do know you? what I don't know what that means. <laughs> but we're gonna move on. Breath Wait. Roses gets a D. Aw, oh, man. Kanaya. I don't have to move on. <laughs> Kanaya <laughs> and Vriska as dirty little circuit. I, I, I like it. Bad. No one was anyone's secret. I mean, Tavros was kind of mm. Riska's secret on accident. There, there was a point early in this story, if I'm remembering correctly, where Kanaya did try to deny... Oh, yeah. But, like, okay. I don't know, Dirty Little Secret... Just makes me think that it's an intentional relationship that they're keeping on the down low, not like I have a crush and I'm not telling anyone about it. Yeah. I don't think it's good. I just don't think it's like super terrible awful. Yeah. I don't know, what do y'all think? I'm I'm definitely like on the line. I'm I'm kind of Kind of at C, but oh no, D, absolutely I'm, no. I, I'm charmed not enough by it to say C, but Terrible. like I get where you're coming from. It's just yeah. it doesn't like it's a cute name that doesn't make sense for these two characters, and I don't know what two characters it would make sense for. It's just a cute name. Well, one of them has to be Riska because it's a dirty little circuit, not secret. Yeah, and that leaves so many other characters. Could be Arania. Arania does is incapable of keeping secrets. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, you're right. <laughs> okay, but hear me out. Hear me out. All right. <laughs> okay. 
This is terrible. This is not a real pitch. Do it. Vriska and Arania. What? I mean, if we're changing the definitions, uh, if fo- focusing on dirty little person, not <laughs> a secret, I think it would make more sense if Mindfang was in there. Mm. Like it was Mindfang Vriska. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, that's not what we're rating. No. C? D? C, D? Nah, I've been talked down. D. Okay. Yeah. Dirty Little Circuit gets a D. Aradia. Aradia. Aradea. And, <laughs> uh, <laughs> very time of our lives. Because I just, it's just so many songs. So many songs this time. I mean, it's, it's aspect, aspect. Song lyric, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm not I... compelled by, D, I think. Yeah. The same. Yeah. I don't know. I almost want to, like, think about it for a second longer and try to justify it in some way. But I think it's best if we just say D and move on. Mm-hmm. I think mostly my brain just wants to keep playing the song. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's too bad. Time of Our Lives gets a D. It just isn't. This isn't fun. It's not good. Nope. It does this not spark does not joy. Spark joy. <laughs> there we go. Strawberry Jam F. Yamzy and it? Dave. Right there back. we go. Sorry. I yeah. agree. F. F. Moving on. They used to be D's, but we're getting offended by them now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jade and Nepeta as Olive Garden. Dave has to be here. It's true. It's true. It's true. Fuck, he does. She was Olive. She was Garden. It's bad. It's... D? Yeah. It's a, it's a D. It's a D. Yeah. Olive Garden gets a D. Kanaya and Dirk is Rainbow Dash. B! Yeah, I I kind of love it. <laughs> okay. What are your thoughts? Because she because she's a rainbow drinker and he's very fast. And he likes rainbow that's dash. The, and that's the only layer. And he likes rainbow you, dash. Rainbow dash is that? his favorite. Don't you play these fucking games, with <laughs> <my boy? laughs> Mister? I've never watched Indiana Jones. I'm only into things made for like twelve to sixteen year olds. Well, I guess. My Little Pony is more like six year old. I will say this: still. I have I at least attempted My Little Pony. I've never attempted Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. I I watched some My Little Pony whenever me and my partner at the time were trading off series where I watched My Little Pony and they listened to the Magnus Archives. Yeah, obviously same vibe, you know. Yeah, same right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Equal exchange. <clears throat> um, I watched the first two episodes of Friendship Is Magic because there was an intro like two parter thing. Yeah, and went. Wow, this is a little bit more intense than what I expected it to be. Still not really my thing. I think it's fun. I, I would have no problems going back and watching it. I just didn't uh, connect with it. I couldn't remember yeah. Rainbow Dash's name, so I'm like, you know, um, the Dyke Pony. Which could have been any of them, let's which be real. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Isn't one of them canonically lesbian? I have no fucking idea. Somebody will tell us. I feel like they're all canonically lesbians. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. Did we did we say it? Did we say Rainbow Dash gets B? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I and I think so. we all agree. Okay. We did now. Yeah, we did now. Nepeta and Terezi as Scratch and Sniff. <laughs> uh, I love this. A. It's very good. Is it? Hmm. I because love this. Because it's not A. Here's the... Hmm. I was thinking B, but I'll give it A. I I like this because it's not it's it's formatted like she was scratch and she was sniff. But they both apply to both of them. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So I it's very good. This is how you do a she was blank and she was blank properly. Right, yeah. 
Because it doesn't matter who's in what spot. It's always correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Scratch and Sniff's an A. No, sorry. We, hey, hold on. Wait a minute. Maybe we don't need to talk about Skynet systems right now. Maybe we just need to evaluate Solix and Fafari as pink lemonade. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Fucking F, move on. <laughs> Yeah, F, yeah. Pink, pink lemonade is an F. <laughs> Did it? I can multitask. <laughs> Tavros and Carcat as oranges and apples. F. Also bad. 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 Also F. an F. <laughs> yeah, F. Absolutely. Moving on. <laughs> the psionic and Dirk as mac and cheese. I hate everything about it. F. Also, also F. an F. This is one of the worst. Food I don't even ones. like. Why is the psionic in particular? Why? Ma- I don't. I, I don't get I don't... it because they're both like yellow and orangish. Mm-hmm. Right. It's bad. But they're. It's worse than pink lemonade. Like. Yeah. We're gonna fucking dig into the depths of hell to find out what's below F, and throw them down there. Didn't we already throw somebody in H? <laughs> we did. I can't remember who, but you know this can go that. in H too. They can get some company. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's like fucking bra Mac- sizes. They don't go like. There's not like an E. It goes like double D to like fucking G's or some shit. Rating systems. H. <laughs> okay. H for hell. Mac and cheese gets an F. G- gets an H. Yeah. For hell. <laughs> Calcest. Who else could it be but Caliborn and Calliope? Lil Cal. Lil Cal should also be in here. You know what? I had to ask if Lil Cal counted as Strider Cest. Lil Cal, Lord English, Stock Scratch, and they said, yeah, fuck it, throw him in. I mean, uh, uh, isn't one of them. Wait, isn't one of them in there? Yeah, Hal's in there. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it counts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yep. So. Oh my god, I forgot to add them onto the main list of shit, though. Fuck my life. Uh, anyway, Calcest, it's a D. Listen, if fucking Strider Cest doesn't get to be on here, then who cares about, uh, that? Yeah. Cal- Calcest is exactly what it says on the tin. Is a D, unless Dommy thinks it should be an S for some reason. <laughs> no, S it's for a D. snake. Yes, <laughs> S for snake. S for snake. No, no, it gets a D. Why do they have different shoes? Did Calliope change her shoes each time? Yeah, yeah, they change their shoes. Hmm. Why? I just remember her taking off her jacket. I don't remember the shoes. Why? Because Caliborn would shit in them. He would. He totally would. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I think okay. that... I ugh, I I swear to God, you're going to make me load up this section of Homestuck to find photographic evidence of her taking off her shoes. I, I no, literally don't. just went through it a few weeks ago. <laughs> um, the whole, like, reveal. Uh-huh. Uh, and I remember the jacket coming off. I just don't remember the shoes. You, we're not gonna put the evidence in the episode. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're not. No, we are definitely not. Because I would have to edit that, and I'm not going to. D, D. Aradia and Solix as too spooky. Too spooky. With the number two. I think it should have just been a two without an S. No, because it's too spooky, spooky. for me. You know. Yeah. I know. But I like it the other way. That's fair. And then two I's instead of a Y. Actually, I might have hated that. I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Two I's instead of O's. Yeah. Speaky. No, not the letter. The body part. Oh, gross. Anyway, uh, is this like a D? Yeah. Kind, yeah, I think, I think so. Too spooky. 
maybe I just maybe... feel like I just want to keep tweaking it because it has potential, but it it's not there. Solux would say this. Close but yeah. no cigar. Maybe a C. No, I think I'm I think I'm hitting a C. I think I'm hitting a D. Okay. It's too spooky. Or 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 spooky. Gets gets a gets a D. Yeah. Carcat and Gamzee as Moy Rails with benefits. What are the benefits? I mean, like, I know what the benefits are. But what are the benefits implied in the ship name that we should understand immediately? Ugh. Um, Carcat gets unlimited uh, slime pies and Gamzee gets to get calmed down every once in a while. <laughs> That's all I got. I don't think this is correct. No. I think this is an F. Like, it's just telling you, hey, these guys fuck, probably. Yeah. From what? From where? They stay morales for, like, two seconds on screen. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not shitting on the, the, the uh, Gamcat shippers. I'm just saying, I don't... I don't get the benefits. Uh, I agree with F. I'm confused. Yeah. It makes me angry. Yeah. Moy Rails with Benefits gets an F. Solix and Carcat as McDonald's. That hurt to say. Did it? I don't like it. I also don't get it. Yeah. Is it like a hamburger and it's like cheese and ketchup? Because that's pretty much all that comes on McDonald's hamburgers. I just keep thinking of fries or arches and trying to. It's bad. It doesn't make sense. F. Yeah. This is an F. McDonald's gets an F. Again, both in the ship and in real life. Unless it's for (laughs) breakfast. I did have McDonald's breakfast recently. It's pretty good. But I do like their other offerings. Windicuffs! It's Jake and John Windicuffs. This this is pretty iconic. It's super iconic. Another one I remember from the old days. Yeah. Yeah, I can't disagree with it. It's an A, at least. I think it's an S. I like it. Okay, yeah, I'll, I was I'll I was gonna, I was gonna say I was gonna say B. Uh, oh no. I mean it's fine. <laughs> really? It's like physical. I, I don't I don't have I don't have the I I know I know it's like fisticuffs. I don't have the nostalgia from it for it being a classic ship. Sure. Yeah. I think it's a, I think it's fine. I think it's an I think it's a, a, a an okay portmanteau. That's fair. Do we want to do you want to meet in the middle with A then? Sure. What do you think, Tommy? It makes me correct. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Wind Windicuffs gets an A. There's nothing different between them two. Like it's so bad design. Yeah, it's pretty bad character design. Yeah. Solix and Nepeta as lemon lime. F. 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 <laughs> F's in chat. To the fucking compost with y'all. I love how we're just so annoyed with these now. It's just... Should have called it Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 Roxy and uh, Hal as martini glasses. S. I don't know that I can <laughs> condone that. <laughs> I like it no, a lot. I, I, I do like it. Not not that much. Fair enough. I'll Alpha beta like, soup, this is not. Yeah. I don't like comparing them against others. I just go with the vibe in my gut. I'll give it an A. Okay, I'll give it an A. Martini glasses gets an A. This is like, hi dad, I have something to tell you. I'm pregnant. No, I'm not really, but that will make it seem a lot better when I say that I've wrecked my car. <laughs> 
started with an S, I get an A. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Sure. <laughs> I was really wondering how that connected. <laughs> John and Riska as Spider Breath. With an eight. S. No, no. Here's the thing. Okay, I'm not this doing one... martini glasses. I'm doing S. No, 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 no. Oh, I thought you said F. I'm like, wait, hold on, what? Jesus Christ. (laughs) Here's the thing. This one is classic, and I get it. I get where you're coming from, but I don't like this one as much. You're allowed to be wrong. I've never thought of spiders as having breath. I think (laughs) it sounds grody, and I think that's great. I think spider (laughs) breath... Just gives me images of, of cobwebs and dust and creepy, and I think that's wonderful. I. It's like musty. Ugh, you're right. It's a little musty, and that is good for them, but like, I don't. I don't know. I just. I can't in good conscience give this above a B, I think. It just. Oh, it Jesus never. Christ. It's never one that's vibed with me super hard. I love I'm it so open much. to being wrong though. What do you think, Justin? No, I'm kind of I'm kind of with you on B where it's like I get it's she was a spider and he is breath. But like let and me the, and the eight but like I, Think about it this way. Why are you guys so wrong about John Vriss ship (laughs) names? You got Remember Me so goddamn high. And you won't give me spider breath. Remember Me is so sad. It's dumb. Think about it. it. Jax, think about it. If this was not a popular ship name, okay? If you had not heard this 50,000 times in reference to these two, would you even be saying this was a B? Or would we be like, what the fuck even is this? D, move on. Well, I don't live in that reality now, do I? <laughs> uh. I live in the reality where Remember Me is Vris Rezzy and Spider Breath is John Vris. Well, both, like, uh, okay, I'm not having this argument about Remember Me again. <laughs> we're we're going to give okay. it. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. To be fair, it was Do You Remember Me? This is true. It was that, and I'm not having this argument again. Can That's we a just, Santa Claus song. Can we just outvote Jax, give it a B, and move yeah, on? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Spider 8 Wreath gets a B. <laughs> Y'all better be the ones to edit this episode then. No, not it. I'm going to pull a mime sorry on y'all. <laughs> yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Everyone has to watch this video now. <laughs> Gamzy, Tavros, and Equius as lunchtime. I don't a, help. I want them to eat him. There was there was uh, an explanation on this one on the um. This is the only one that actually had an explanation. That's very on funny. the chart that Jax gave me. I just copied and pasted shit. The explanation is PB and J and milk. A radio should be here. Oh. I think I only like it because of how you set them up on this page. <laughs> it just looks like they're about to commit a cannibalism. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't like, look, we're not rating dynamics here. No. Are you sure? <laughs> we're not. We're rating dynamics as they... As they relate to the name. Sigh. I don't know. I would hate this. It's just seeing this as an image made me really happy. Uh, but a radio should be here. I think if a radio is here, it would be a lot better. Yeah, I don't think these two alone could successfully cannibalize Equius. Yeah, no. I think they could because one of them's Gamzee who murdered him because he couldn't fight against a high blood for very long. I think if Gamzee said, 
My place as a high blood is to cannibalize you. And also this low blood will also be responsible for your death. Think about it. This is Equius. He'd put himself on the table himself. He'd get off on that. Yeah. 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 He'd go get the knives. Are we going to rate this high for a completely <laughs> stupid reason? <laughs> <laughs> I'll defer to y'all on this. It's a B for cannibalism and a D for everything else. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Lunchtime gets a BD, which is an excellent place to eat if you ever find yourself in Kansas City. I find myself in Kansas City quite often, and I don't think I've ever eaten there. I know they're frozen meals. Too expensive to buy. BD's is a Mongolian girl. It's like who hot, but much, much better. Mm. Jake and Dirk as Skullcap. It's just the shirts. If either of them ever wore a skull cap at any point in the entire series, this might be a little bit better. I always think I don't know I don't know why, but I see skull cap and I focus on cap and I think of like a gun, like you're capping someone. Mm, and then I get okay. confused. And then because it doesn't work, because then that's all Jake. Yeah, no, it's uh I, I don't know. Do people I, still talk about skull caps anymore? Are they still hip with the youth these days? What, what even are they? Aren't they like beanies? Yeah, it's pretty much a beanie. It's a cap for your skull. Yeah. Okay. Like a big old dental crown. I see. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Never quite thought of skull caps as being dental crowns for your whole fucking skull before. <laughs> That's what I think of when I think about the term skull cap. Look, I'm not the biggest fan of this. I Neither think am that I. it's like a oh, D. Yeah, it's a D. D okay. D at best, yeah. Skull cap is a D. Yeah. Remember when we said we were gonna do lightning rounds? Um we've gotten through a good chunk. We have been, uh, like, moving at quite yeah. the clip. Quite the clip. Uh, Roxy and Mina, beer, goggles. Mina doesn't really wear goggles. Does the fairy wear goggles? The fairy wears goggles. They're supposed to be goggles, I think. Those are supposed to be goggles? They're like I don't lesbian librarian that's glasses. That's right. fair. Maybe yeah, the fairies no, the little... are supposed to be goggles. I think the fairies are. I could see them as goggles if they didn't have the, like, horn curve up on the top of them. Sure, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, this is wrong. It's it's the 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 wrong Pisces. Pixis. It's the... the Pisces. It's, it's that. And it's also the wrong drink. Roxy would never stoop to beer. You you make a compelling argument. <laughs> Does he? Would Roxy not stoop to beer? I don't know. I actually don't know. That might be wrong. I think, here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. I think it's less that Roxy wouldn't stoop to beer, and more that Rose would never leave Roxy beer. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you, you are, you are correct. Yeah. Uh, this is an F for me. Yeah, I think it's same. A D for me. You're outvoted uh, again. Yeah, you know what? I'll give it D. I do kind of like it a little again. bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's... Beer goggles gets a D. That's fine. I'm not upset at all. Okay. This one's sad. Carpet <laughs> <laughs> and Nepeta and it's kitten cancer. Uh, F. Why is this here? F. 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 You bad vibes. It. Bad vibes. It is he was blank, she was blank, but like with the, the worst, worst possible, possible version. Vibes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this is what this is what Hussey named this ship because he hated it so much and wanted uh 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 catnap uh shippers to feel yeah. very sad yeah. and terrible all the time. 
Honestly, okay. the the he was she was here was really just he he was cancerous. She was his Discord kitten. Oh, oh! I don't want to hear the term <laughs> Discord kitten again, please. <laughs> Sorry. Terrible. This gets lower than an F. How are you, my little Discord <laughs> kitten? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay. You understand? Moving on. <laughs> I recognize that I wrought this upon the world, but we cannot keep going. <laughs> Kanaya and Briska as spider moth. Are spider moths a thing? I'm pretty sure. Ooh, good question. Do you not know off the top of your head, Dami? No? Why would I? I don't know. You like moths. I do like moths. Hey. I typed in spider moth into Google just by itself with no other qualifiers, and the first thing that comes up is the shipping wiki for spider moth. <laughs> That's so good. It. So have you seen that um, picture that gets passed it's on? A the... has been ho- it, it's a has-been hotel ship. Oh, I need to watch has-been hotel still. It made Lucifer really hot, which is really what you have to do if you have Lucifer. I mean, also Alistair. A so. spider moth is not a thing, but there are moths that disguise themselves as spiders. Yeah. I'm basically just getting a lot of has been hotel. That's good. I mean, the season just came out. Okay. After the pilot's been out for fucking ever. Anyway, Kaniaphobia is the fear of chainsaws that got put onto an actual video game poster. Cool. Yeah, it's very funny. So how do we feel about spider moth? I kind of like dislike it. it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I say awesome. it's a D. D. It's D. Okay, that's fine. I'm not gonna fight for this like I did spider breath. Okay. Because I don't care about spider it. moth. But it's, is a D. you understand that it's the same kind of thing, right? I refuse <laughs> to understand that. You I won't say on record. Um, this is recorded conversation, so no. Ugh. Car Cat and Dave as crab apples. We don't really have a good Dave Cat ship name. Like, we got Pepsi Cola and we have communism, but we don't really have a good Dave Cat. And this uh, remains true with crab apples. Yeah. It's fine. I just like talking about shipping my OT3 Dave, Car Cat, John, and then sometimes adding about seven more characters in there. But, um,. <laughs> But it's hard to be it's like, yeah, you know, you combine the best of you, you combine the best ships. You got Pepsi Cola, you got communism, you got Dave Cat. <laughs> I mean, look, you're not wrong. You don't got crab apples, that's for sure. You do not have crab apples. I don't know. I think nobody, it's like a sh- C. nobody should have crab apples. A C You're giving it a C? Okay, so I was thinking of crab as crabby, not crab as he's a crab. I don't know why it took me longer to go to crab because he's a crab instead of crabby. So I was thinking. I mean, he's crabby because he's a crab. Right. I know, but it took me a second (laughs) to get there, and now I dislike it more. But I liked it more when I was thinking of because he's crabby and not because he's a crab. Does crab apples sound like a Nickelodeon swear to anybody else? <laughs> it does. Crab apples. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't like it. D. 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 Jake F. and... <laughs> 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 really made it sound like you just hate Jake English. <laughs> I love... I like Jake English more than Hussy does, which is a low bar. Jake and Dirk as Apple Jacks. No. I stated my opinion. Yeah, it's bad. I think this I mean, one's an F. Yeah. It does at least have the double layer of uh, Applejack. Uh, Applejack's the name of a pony, right? It's a cereal. <laughs> you just outed yourself as actually knowing a, a, a something about think? My Little Pony. I don't think, I think it's the name. Is it a name of a pony? I was just thinking of the cereal. Yes, Applejack is the name of a pony. Okay. Which one? I the the, the cowboy. <laughs> See, that's what I thought, that and then sense. in the middle of saying it, I questioned myself. She's on an apple farm. Yeah. 
And yes, I'm calling her a cowboy. People can come at me for that. <laughs> she is a cowboy. It's fine. She is a cowboy. Applejack, I'm, I say D because it at least has two layers to it, even though it's a food. Okay. It's bad. What's the second layer? That it's cereal? Yeah. Well, it's I guess because it's name. green and orangish. Because green and orange, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I forgot what, what Applejacks looked like for a second. <laughs> Fine, I'll give it a D. Since they've had them. Who's had Applejacks recently? Uh, I'll give it a D. Define recently. In the past five years. No. Oh, definitely. Okay, well, you don't count. For you, it's the past <laughs> three. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's the past what? Uh, I don't know, two or three. What do you think, Justin? Um, How long ago was it that you had Applejacks, Tommy? Uh, I mean, I don't know for sure. Uh, maybe three years. Okay. Um, in that case, it's maybe three years minus one day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't gonna rig it quite that much. <laughs> Apple Jacks gets a D. Jade and Eridim as dogfish. I thought that said dog shit at first. <laughs> F? F? F. F for fish? Yeah. We're getting a lot meaner about these. That's because we're done. <laughs> we're done. We're like, we're, we're a third of the way through and we're just done. Yeah. yeah. These ones have really worn out their welcome on us. Rose and Terezi as seership. D Max. I never like the suffix ship names. Yeah. It's very rarely good. I, it has to there has to also be a play besides just that it's a ship, you know? Yeah. Like there has to be something nautical about it. Or space. No, just nautical. Any any X ship with the psionic in it automatically is good. Yeah, you're right. Like <laughs> That's true, and psionic's not nautical at all. Yeah. You're trying to tell me that I'm wrong. Yes, I am. I did say it's your podcast now. I at least like the way the the only thing that I have to say about this is that I like the way it feels when I say the word seership. See, I just keep wanting to twist it of like, well, this would be great. If it was like Mind Fang Red Glare and Mind Fang was also a seer. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was S E A. Uh see like Do you do you think this is also <laughs> funny because she can't see? I think it would be more funny if she couldn't I mean, see and there was something else, like an added layer of, of Rose's sight besides being a seer. Yeah. And yeah, her yeah, being yeah. a seer and blind is the joke, right? Like, that's the joke already. Yeah, that's, right. that's the joke of Terezi. Um, I, I do think that the... I don't know. There, as much as I just said I hated the ship suffix on... In in these names, I do think that for 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 seership in particular, there is a way in which you can almost like nudge your brain to the left and get like the other meaning of the ship suffix, where it's like, it's it's seership is like like oh the, oh yeah the the way in which you are a seer, right? Yeah 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 yeah. Like I can, I can almost see that, but and like I do feel like these two would discuss seership a lot. Yeah. Well, no. They do. I don't think. I don't think these two would enjoy talking to each other. No, they think... they actively do in canon. They actively talk to each other about being seers. Like, because Terezi thinks she's a sh shit seer, and she talks, and, and Rose, like, assures her that it's just different with light and mind, and how helpful, I don't know, and then I guess a radius also part of that conversation helping out. I don't remember this. But, I don't they talk about it, and then they get um, stranded on a planet together in Game Over, and they talk there, and they're grumpy at each other, but it's fine, and they talk, like, in, like, Act 4 or something, 
and uh, Terezi hate flirts with her. Hey, really? cut out this whole conversation so I don't look really <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> the, like, Terezi goes, oh, you're a seer too. You can hear the voices. Um, everyone else thought I was crazy. I mean, you are crazy, but that's unrelated. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah. I like this added layer. But I don't think it gets it above, like, maybe maybe a C if I'm being generous, which I... Yeah. That's yeah, where I'm at. Yeah, I, I kind of want to be generous to it for some reason, even though I hate all of the constituent parts. <laughs> yeah. It's like you have to, like, push past a layer of goo to find what you're saying about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. Seership gets a C? Yeah. For if you're down. No. Not for seership. No, you said that and now I hate it again, but we're moving on. (laughs) (laughs) It's John, Dave, Pepsi, Cola. We've talked about this already. I think it's pretty clear that you're pretty high on it. Yeah. It's, It's pretty good. I just also think, I don't know, I just, every time I think about it, I do think about them just sitting down and having a Pepsi together. And, yeah. like, Dave having opinions about Pepsi over Coke and, like, you know, just sure. like, being hipster about it. And, like, maybe, I don't know. I just, like, Do you delve into it. Dave has remember? never had either Pepsi or Coke because Bro Dirk only buys RC Cola. Oh, You're that's right. so true. <laughs> You're right. And Dave makes that a point of pride when talking about other Colas. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta know. Do y'all remember what we rated PB and J? No, um, I think we rated it bad. It was like a D, right? Yeah, because I'll be honest, I don't have any more affection for this than I do PB and J. Well, you're um excused for this voting round. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> oh no, we mysteriously lost all of Dommy's audio, and they don't get an opinion this time. <laughs> I don't know. What are you, what are your thoughts, uh, Justin? I mean, I I kind of like Pepsi Cola because for the same thing. Like, I can imagine them sitting down with with Pepsi, and like Dave goes off about it. And that's yeah, a compelling fan like, fiction that you just described. I just like Pepsi. It's not a and compelling fan fiction. we haven't done that for other things. It's, <laughs> it's very much not compelling. It's, it's the most bare bones <laughs> of a less than 500 word fan fiction. I'm writing this now. I might try you know, to write it as a drabble, which is only 100 words. I, I think that with Dave, you can get away with more than 500 words on this topic. I think it should be from John's point of view, who is tuning him out. Okay, yeah, I can see that. (laughs) Look, I'm gonna be honest. We're being mean to these kinds of names. I think it's an F. But I've already stated that I'm sitting out this voting round. I just (laughs) wanted my voice to be heard. I'm glad you stated you sitting out this voting round. I'm glad that that's a thing you said and no one else. No, no. (laughs) I'm glad it was your decision. (laughs) No, you You all said I was sitting out and I agreed. (laughs) Justin. Yeah? Justin, what's your grade? (laughs) I don't I I I really do like this. Not like a lot. Okay. It's sitting at like a C or a B. <laughs> Tommy, you're not here. Uh-huh. Turn off your mic. No. <laughs> <laughs> um Tommy, leave the call. Fuck, all right. <laughs> we'll we'll DM you when it's time to come back in. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I guess we'll I'll just go you play know. Fire Emblem. You're not already doing that? I was trying to make a comment about how we're doing this instead of playing Fire Emblem, and we have been for the past three months. <laughs> All literally same brain. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is uh, what you're taking from us. By you, taking, I mean me. You're taking Fire Emblem 
a tabletop time from us, hosts of the Live Laugh Stuck podcast. <laughs> the one who came up with the idea and is doing it repeatedly instead of Heroes of Light. Instead of Sparkles. Sparkles, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, off of the topic of our D&D characters. <laughs> no, gross. It's not D&D. Okay, fair enough. Our turtle. <laughs> Tur- Turtle characters. Okay, okay, look, if we're gonna spend this long B. talking about it, I am B. gonna tell B. the Fire Emblem fans in the audience to go check out Heroes of Light if you want a Fire Emblem tabletop. It's pretty cool. It's, re- it's real Light. good. It's incredibly. It's L-I-T-E. Yeah. Yes. For the other, for, for Heroes of Light spelled the correct way, um,. The 8-Bit Theater of Nuclear Power guy is making a tabletop RPG about the Heroes oh, of Light. Oh, shit! Yeah. The hell yeah. Okay, anyways, moving on. B, Pepsi, B, Pepsi, B, B, B. Pepsi Cola gets a C, because that's in the middle of everything. Ah! Don't air eh me. <laughs> My whales I get a voice! <laughs> Okay, Aridan and Jake as Hope Ship. Okay, this makes me hate Seer Ship more. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? Because I hate Hope Shipping, and it's the same thing. This one at least has a nautical pun! I just realized I hate this font. <laughs> just now? The E and the S both run into each other and do not have the same bottom line. Yeah. Yeah, and then the spacing between the letters is just, they're just bad. Just all of it's bad. You're ignoring the nautical pun. (laughs) You said that the nautical pun was what made things like this work, and there's the nautical pun right there. It's Hope Ship Ping. Listen. Because John. I said I go by vibes, not principle. (laughs) (laughs) Fine. I kind of don't All like this I'm either. All I'm saying is, I, I don't like it either. I'm not defending it. I'm defending not? Seership. <laughs> We've already done Seership. It's but done. Just... I'm not going to go back and change it. I'm just saying I like it less because of this. Fine. And F, I wasn't moving too on. fond of it anyway. Hope we Shipping is on. a D. We haven't Hope rated sh- it. Hope Shipping is a D. I'll, yeah, D works. All right, fine. Okay, cool. Did you want it higher? Higher? Are you defending it? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, beta OT4. John, uh, Rose, Dave, name. and Jade all together. It's yeah, not a great sorry. name. It's a bad not. name. It's a good ship. It's a bad name. I'm surprised this one is on here. Why? Because it's not a. Huh? In a. It's. It's. I mean, like. It's essentially, it's essentially a Strider Cest, right? It's just a descriptive ship name. Well, so Strider Cest applies to multiple ships, so they don't get on here. Right. Beta OT4 okay. only applies to one ship. Yeah, okay, that, I see. That was, that was the logic behind that. Okay, I see. Never mind. Yeah, I mean, descriptive, accurate, but not yeah. compelling. Not particularly compelling. Um, I, I like... I kind of like the term OT4. Yeah, I do. Because it doesn't... It shouldn't be OT4. Because you have OTP, and then you have OT3 because it follows the same, like, sound scheme. There's probably a word for it that I just don't know. I mean, it's an OT3 because there's three instead of two. Right, but it, it the the reason you can say OT3 is because it sounds the same as OTP. I disagree. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that one. I think it just conveniently rhymes. Yeah. OT4 seems pretty normal to me. I don't okay. Hey, you don't ship. I don't. <laughs> um Why'd you know. invite me here again? <laughs> because I asked if you want to be on a podcast and you say yes. I say yes to everything. I need to just ask you if you want to be on Fake Gamer Bro, even if you don't fucking know what I'm talking about. The answer will always be yes. Like, <laughs> I need to do it. I need to do it. 
you're the only one who can like just guarantee get on a recording set with me and i just need <laughs> someone to talk to you uh anyway let's get back to this did we say what this is uh yeah, yeah. wow we got really off of it <laughs> <laughs> yeah we like discussed it up and down and then just like never set a rating uh i think c yes yeah um, okay well, Sure. Okay. Is, I that, can a, is that. that a it should be higher or it should be lower? That's on it should be lower. Yeah, I mean C is this kinda is, just for like the nostalgia ish. This is not like in anything. the same tier as everything else we've put in D. I just, okay. I just don't like to think of, of tiers in that term all the time. Some like That's I don't fair. wanna I don't wanna have to compare every S to Rosemary, you know? Sure. Right, right, That's right. Fair. But when you think of it in, like, categories, almost, this is not the same tier as all of the food ones. Food ones, we started dunking to F, but I get you. <laughs> yeah. Frankly, I think the food ones should have been F from the start. Yeah, no, C is fine. Okay. Beta, I mean, that's what I said, so of course I think it's fine. It's it's beta OTC. That's a different thing. I don't care. <laughs> Just, like, over the counter? Over the yeah. counter beta blockers? That's Aqueous yeah. and Dirk as robot unicorn. Hey, do we want to do we want to start a lightning round now? Yeah, yeah, let's start a lightning round. F. F. D because of the show. I forgot about the show. The you mean robot chicken? Wait, hold on. What's robot unicorn? Robot unicorn's a game by Adult Swim. Good lightning round. Yeah. Okay. I think F is what we voted for. We that need to one. say what this is because there are audio only listeners. John and John himself, again, as Prank War. I love B. it. A. It's really A. good, A. A. Jade and Fafari as Tangle Buddies. B. Uh, B. B? Okay, B. Solix and Nepeta as Double Mew Mew. A. D. I don't get it. So he was also... double. She was Mew Mew. Isn't it Mew Mew? I feel like that's a reference to something, and I just can't remember. Is it supposed what. to be Tokyo Mew Mew? I think so. I don't. It's not. It. It doesn't evoke that. And then it does D. not. I. I peaked getting mad about that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh. Split the difference, it's C. Okay. Equius and Gamzee is high horse. A. A. I'll give it A. This is pretty this is pretty good, yeah, it's an A. Terezi and Vriska as Team Scourge. B. A d correct, sure. C, B? I give it a C. What do we give Team Charge? C. C. Okay, C. I don't know if that's true or not. That sounds right. <laughs> Uh, Rose and Jade as Rifle Rose. Uh, F? D, I don't, F? I don't think a Rifle Rose is a thing, yeah. You can't just use somebody's name as a ship name. It's an F. John and Dave as Hero Lance Bromance. F. F? Neither of them do Hero Lance. I don't know what that What's is. What's Hero Lance? Wait, am I thinking of the correct thing? Hero Lance. It, no, I'm thinking of Dragon Lance. I'm mixing up yeah. Hero Quest and Dragon Lance as two. Uh, that's, that's because okay. I was thinking Dragon Lance, and I'm like, that's not this at all. Nope, my brain took Hero Quest and Dragon Lance and smashed them together into a thing that Neither doesn't of exist. Neither these would read Dragon Lance. Yeah, or Hero nope. Quest. Nope, nope. Bad. Nope. F. Awful. Tavros and Kanaya as fashionable. B. I kind I kind of like it. B. No, 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 <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Lightning round, Fine. lightning round. Go, go, go. D. Get okay. out of here. What? We can't say get out of here. We both said B, and you said D. Yeah, I but guess that means C. it's a B. <laughs> Aridan and Dirk as princely ship. D. D? C? 
Why? No I... why. Lightning round. C. <laughs> <laughs> Jade and Tavros as fairy godship. C. Uh, D. <laughs> I also think C. That's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. These shit suffixes. No one could agree on them. <laughs> Rose and Vriska as lightship. D. 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 Thank God. Jake and Roxy as shotgun. B. C. C. Okay. Aradia and Vriska as revenge. Fucking A. A. <laughs> okay, yeah, A. No, you're right. <laughs> Uh, Kanaya and Terezi as Crimson Dress. D, but it has such little riz, I want to say F. F. Uh, you're <laughs> right. Uh, F. I like this one a lot. Dad and Mom <laughs> as Marriage. This one's pretty <laughs> good. This is very good. Can we just say S? Yeah. S. I, I also think <laughs> this is an S. <laughs> marriage. <laughs> Wow. Wow. <laughs> Lightning round. <laughs> uh, Jake and Dirk as Gunblade. C. C. No, I'll give it a B. Oh, I was gonna. I was. I was gonna say D. Okay. Okay. C. 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 <laughs> Jake and Aranea as Whomping Willow. D. I, I, D F. D I don't get why. Because they meet on a tree. That's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> For D. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tavros and Solix as sick firewalls. I kind of love this one. I I kind of like it. C B. C. B B B B. Solix, Dirk, F. Hu Honey and Clementines, F, moving F. on. F. <laughs> Roxy and Mina as Fish Flambe, F. F? B. What? Because you use alcohol to flambe. Okay, but what was your rating? B? No? <laughs> 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 what do you mean B? <laughs> it's fun. I like but, it. No. <laughs> Literally what about this is more charming than any other food name? The alcohol? Cuz you have to think a bit about flambe. Ugh. I'll give it it's a D. It's not like just colors or I'll just I'll give it a D. <sighs> That's fine. It does imply <laughs> <laughs> yeah you want to finish that that Roxy throws a Molotov cocktail at Mina no sorry I'll finish it as soon as I stop laughing at myself <laughs> oh okay <laughs> it does imply that Roxy is the one eating Mina in this situation yeah yeah, yeah do Fine, I'll give it a C. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> Are you happy you talked me up two whole letter grades? <laughs> yeah. Did, did we just break the lightning round? We said we'd break the lightning round when something was worth talking about, and I <laughs> guess this was it. <laughs> I don't think this was worth talking about, but we sure fucking <laughs> talked about it. <laughs> okay. I had so many thoughts I put on the back burner. Like, when we break lightning round, I'll say this. And they're all gone. <laughs> uh, oh, this one's probably going to merit a little discussion. Solix and Terezi as troll cops. It is F. a classic. Is it? Yes, unironically. It's, very good. It's, it's one of my favorite Homestuck songs, actually, is troll cops. Oh, I don't know fucking any Homestuck songs. No Homestuck songs exist in my head. Like, okay, there is a Homestuck song called Troll Cops, and it spawned, 
Like, there's one comic of Terezi and Solix being cops where Terezi tells him to do the sirens thing and he uses his lights as the police sirens. And that spawned off a whole AU where they're cops together. I'll excuse myself from this one. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, pr- it's pretty funny. Uh, it's not S. I think it's an A. Uh, yeah, I'll give it an A. It is a classic. You want to? You still want to excuse yourself, Jax? Yeah, I don't have any of the context for this one. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, troll, troll cops. I'll dig troll. up that comic for you. Cause my, cause my head is an F, but I don't understand any of the stuff. So I'll, I'll dig up the song. It's, it's very good. In like, I believe you. It's very good, not in the same way that Rex Duodecimangelis is like legitimately good. It's, it's, it's bad good. Ah. <laughs> uh. Aranea and Mina as hardcore sweeties. D. 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 Yeah. Vriska and Equius as blue shipping. F. F, I agree. F. Blue shipping gets an F. Like, they didn't even make the B an 8. Lazy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. 8 blue shipping. Uh, Equius and Roxy as shipping void. F. 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 Shipping Void has been banished to the Shipping Void. <laughs> uh, Aradia and Carcat as Blood Red. D. Yeah, D. D. It only gets a boost for me because I like that technically, like, Aradia is the one that has, like, real person human uh, blood color, but Carcat is the one who has cartoon human blood color. Okay. Mm, okay, fine. I mean, that's just, I mean, I just said a D. I'm not trying to convince you any higher. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it a D. Okay. Blood Red gets a D. Terezi and Gamzee as court jester. B. Yeah. Okay. I can be, I can be convinced of a B. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not opposed. Okay. Court jesters gets a B. I think good Gamrezi would be Terezi making Gamzee uh, participate in her fake trials. Yeah. Carcat and Mina as leadership. B. Uh, yeah. Uh. Uh. uh hmm. C. 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 Yeah. Uh, C. Uh, leadership gets a C. Uh. This is the Make Jack Sad episode. Uh. <laughs> keep it up and i'll pull out some of my cursed phrases jade and kanaya as spaceship c f f no psionic (laughs) yeah there should be a psionic here (laughs) i'll give it a d and strike the middle (laughs) ground (laughs) okay spaceship gets a d Aradia and Aridin as Time for Hope. Uh, gross. F. This is not a... It's pretending that this is a thing that people say. Nobody has said Time for Hope. Yeah. Yeah, hardcore F. F. That's fine. Carcat, Terezi, and Dave as the Terezi Tango. Excuse me, there's no the in here. It's just Terezi Tango. I like it, though. Really? I think compelling fanfiction title. But that doesn't make me hate it. I think it's a compelling ship dynamic. It's kind of a canon ship dynamic that Carcat tried to force. Yeah. Yeah. I don't hate it. I do, I I I really like I I really like this. What would you say? Justin, I, I would say A could be talked down to a B. This is really high up on my list. What do you think, Jax? I don't really care about it that much. To me, it's a C, but I don't care. Okay, I, I think I'm willing to say A. Okay. All right, Terezi Tango gets 
a B, I guess. That's probably how that works. No, you can do yeah. A. I don't give a shit. It's a high B, according to averages. Yeah. I said you can have an A, but okay. Okay. <laughs> not gonna force it. <laughs> John and Dave as America. I think Doc Scratch should be here. Yeah, I think you're right. Don't just make it colors. <laughs> That's what it is. I guess. What do you mean you guess? But it's missing a color. I don't know. What else would it be? I have no idea. I really don't know where... I do not... I literally do not have a logic for the way I feel about this. Do you just like it? Do you like America? I... Do you America stan? Only in Italia. Feeling patriotic today, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I hate this country. I mean, you outed yourself as a Italia fan, so that's punishment enough. Yeah. Used to be, back when I was a, a shit person. Honestly, I did I did enjoy it back in the day. Back when yeah. there used to be jokes about how they were on more rails. <laughs> I never fucking watched it. I don't care. I just know everyone hates Italia fans. What do y'all think about this? D. Uh, honestly, like F. Yeah. Okay. I would probably also like logically put it at an F. But what's, what's your, your heart, heart say? You? <laughs> <laughs> the heart players want to know. <laughs> Are you a heart player now? <laughs> look, look, look. Look, are you a player now? The, we, <laughs> yeah. We've been waffling on the heart time thing for ages. Don't worry about it. We're a little bit of both. We're whichever's funniest in the moment. Yeah. I thought you were a solid time player and just didn't know your class. Well, we're air and we're waffling between air and something else. Nah, air's been pretty solid. I got it backwards. Yeah. Anyway, what does your heart tell you, Justin? Um, I no longer let my heart decide. Fine. F it is. Moving F. on. America gets me. an F. Yeah. Take that take that sound bite and run with it. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy and Mina as drunken fish. Bat F. 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 Yep. Drunken Fish gets an F. John and Tavros as breath play. I thought you said we already had breath Did play. we not already have this? I thought we did. I think we might not have done this one yet. Okay. I still hate it. I think it's a step up from breath bros. Yeah. Agreed. I mean, that's a that's a short step. Yeah. Um, C? D? D... D. Breathplay gets a D. Insert joke about getting the D in Breathplay. Uh, Tavros and Dave as caramel apples. I just want a caramel apple. I mean, it's an F. But it did give me a food craving. Am I the only person who says caramel? I think I usually say caramel, but I just went off of what Dami said. I switch. I was on announcer voice mode and, uh... I was somewhere between saying caramel and caramel, and it came out that way. Caramel. Caramel. Yeah. I just think of this really old commercial for, like, Snickers or some candy bar where they're arguing about, uh, um... Oh, it was a, it was a caramel Twix. Caramel. It was a Twix with commercial. Twix, yeah. Caramel yeah. versus caramel with, like, Shaq. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I think of. I'm glad you know. God, back when Shaq was in every single commercial Everything. ever. And move like a couple movies. Shaq yeah. was just out there. And now uh now he owns Papa John's, right? I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. 
He owns Papa John's, and I think he's like the main spokesperson for Toys for Tots. Oh. It's been a while since Toys R Us shut down, but every year Shaq's face was all over the Toys for Tots, um, like, advertisements and PR. Nice. Makes sense. Caramel Apples is an F. Yeah. It's an F. Yeah. All right, moving on. Carcat and Aridin as Pufferfish. If you're not very careful with it, it will kill you. I guess that's true. Sure. Uh, F? F. 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 Pufferfish gets an F. Aradia and Equius as Blue Raspberry. F. 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 Solux and Dave as Applebees. Do you want the apple or the bees? <laughs> bees? <laughs> okay. Have you seen that comic going around? You didn't uh, finish it. <laughs> <laughs> well, because like there's a there's a, a comic going around that it's just Solix and, and uh Dave at a table and says, Welcome to Applebee's. Would you like the apple or the bees? But they don't finish the joke. They're just they don't both staring in like pure wonder and joy. <laughs> okay. Uh I think that this works. Only because Terezi has called Solix Mr. Appleberry last. And, like, also, to me, it's it's adjacent to Dave's thing for Olive Garden. Yeah. Applebee's would be, like, the nicest food Dave has ever had. Yeah. It's true. And Solix, probably. Yeah. Less evidence for that one, but I still it still feels correct. Yeah. Look, I think these two would fuck up an Applebee's. Solix car- also lives in a shitty apartment. It's true. These two would fuck up an Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't let me finish the sentence, but yes, Sorry. that is correct. <laughs> I th- <laughs> I think these two would fuck up an Applebee's karaoke night. There's an Applebee's karaoke night. What? I think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Shit, never mind. Hold on. I have to find this now. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's so <laughs> meme worthy. I just want to post that on, on Tumblr. Oh just... no. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Oh my God. I knew it. I knew I had been to one. <laughs> <laughs> An Applebee's karaoke night. Apparently, I can't some imagine some a Applebee's. Thing. Some Applebee's <laughs> do karaoke nights. Well, the <laughs> one does. Ah, shit! I just doxed myself. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe I'll 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 actually bleep that out for you. You meant to say Thank the you. one does. Yeah, yeah, misspoke. definitely. <laughs> At the Applebee's. <laughs> 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 now you have to bleep all of that out. <laughs> I'm just going to be, uh, turn this into an episode of fucking uh, QAnon Anonymous. God, you're so right. <laughs> <sighs> fucking Behind Bastards does that too. We'll, where um, Robert Evans will just go off on a rant of like something he wants done to like a political figure or something. Yeah. And it will just be all bleeped out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you, what do you give this? Um an A for Applebee's and I can be talked down to a B for B apples. <laughs> well, I mean, it did teach you that Applebee's karaoke nights exist. <laughs> so like you have to so give a it D? the higher rating. So an F? <laughs> I give it a B. I'll give it a, I'll give, I'll, 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 I'll break the tie up to A. Damn. Okay. That's fine. Applebee's gets an A. <laughs> No, I'm gonna do it anyway. Never mind, I'm not. It's stupid. What? Moving on. Too, too much build up for the joke now? They didn't <laughs> choose the bees! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Somehow that didn't peak. But that but that works because we didn't choose the bee. We didn't. 
Strawberry Kiwi. It's Dave and Jade. F. F. Bad. Bad F. I haven't had that flavor in a while, though. I feel like that flavor used to be in a lot of shit. Yeah. It's a very good flavor combination. It's pretty dope. Maybe I used to get a lot of those, like, uh, sparkling waters, but, like, you know, the dollar ones that are in the, the fucking half-liter uh, bottles or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I think that if you have had a lot of strawberry kiwi things, it's probably just because you're a little poor. <laughs> if I'm being frank. <laughs> And like I, called out. No, called no, out my I'm poor sorry. ass. No, you broke. no, no, no. This is me saying that as someone who is poor and has had a lot of strawberry kiwi things. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> strawberry kiwi is poor person coding. It's for the plebs. Kiwi makes you poor. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> F, moving on. Dave and Dave as Time Lords. Yes. No, but this is Caliborn and Caliborn. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this was definitely like pre-2012 or something. Hmm. That's not incorrect. Some might say it's correct. Dave did more Doctor Who type bullshit time traveling than Caliborn. Ugh, you are right. Dave fucking hated time travel by the end of it, though. Yeah. And he never took a companion. I feel Aradia, Aradia is more of a time lord. Yeah, yeah, okay. Aradia also never takes a companion, though. Solix. Hello, Solix. Shit. Anyway, F? Solix gets tired of it and fucks off for a while and then comes back. Classic companion shit. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, F? Uh, uh D? D? <laughs> Fuck, alright. D, I guess. <laughs> Time Lords gets a D. Carcat and Terezi as Candy Red. This is one of them. See, now I just want a candy apple. Why do I want apples? Apples are good. My body is screaming for fresh food. No. Please, not another banquet meal or pizza rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Only DoorDash to McDonald's for you. I had DoorDash to Taco Bell. With cinnamon twists that tried to kill me. I have an apple in front of me. I would give it to you if I could. What kind of apple? Did you know that uh, Taco Bell on DoorDash and Grubhub have two different options? What do you mean? You can do more customization on Grubhub than you can on DoorDash with Taco Bell specifically. To be fair, I actually got it through the Taco Bell app because they were doing, uh, if you buy through the app, you get a dollar uh, chicken quesadilla. Oh, okay. My apple is a pink lady, to answer your question. <laughs> Insert trans femme joke here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Candy Red gets a D only because it's mildly canon. Yeah. But it's only Car Cat. It's, it's uh, what Teresi calls his blood. Uh, okay, fine. Yeah. D. It's not a it's not a good link, but like, are we in agreement? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Candy Red gets a D. Gross. Solid. And Fafari as Bumblebee Tuna, get it out of here. Gross. Hate it. F. F. Why is F. it gross? Like I agree with this F. one needs to go in H. <laughs> I I what? Why is it gross? Do you guys not like tuna? I do like tuna actually. Tuna's fine. I wouldn't put bees in it. Bumblebee is a brand of tuna. It is a brand of tuna. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. I just imagined a bee-filled tuna sandwich. Tuna? I can okay. see why you'd say gross and probably ouchy. Yeah. Tuna is just not a... It's not that tuna in and of itself is gross. It's just that tuna is not like a... Tuna's not a cutesy, shippy kind of food. No, absolutely not. You know? Uh, Nepeta would go crazy for it. Cat joke. Anyway. Cat joke. That's why I think F. 
It is an F. Yeah, I agree. It's an F. Bumblebee Tuna gets an F. Solix and Aridin as nerd fight. B. Mm. I'll be talked down from it. I just think it's very funny. I also think it's pretty funny. Okay. I can accept that. Like, this is explicitly a Black Rom ship name. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's a B. Nerd fight gets a B. Jake and Dirk as cooling cake. No, bad. Because Jake has an ass? Okay, I he, guess that's... He is, he is cool and he has cake. Jane has to be in here. You can't have a ship with a cake in it. A ship name with a cake in it. Especially for the Alpha Kids and not have Jane in here. Yeah. I don't care how much cake Jake has. I th- I think it's a D at best. Yeah. Because this is like... I think it's an F. This is like the worst tier of he is X, he is Y. Yeah, it's true. Okay, Cool and Kate gets a D. A D? D. An F. F? F, F, F please. F. Thank you. Aradia and Equius as Rose and Violets. F. I'm insulted. F. F. Yeah, no. Rose and Violets gets an F. Dave and Jade as mistletoe. Because they're Christmas colors. And also mistletoe colors. Yeah, they're too. Um, And they're poisonous when eaten. F. F. (laughs) 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 Mistletoe gets an F. Harkat and Kanaya as Bloody Mary. B? What did you just say to me? <laughs> you say E? No. <laughs> I said B. I have heard this one before, but I don't like it. I think that this gets a D at best. No, Roxy. For the alcohol reference. That's why they should have called it Virgin Bloody Mary. That would have... Yeah, okay, no. I would have right. liked that a lot better. That, w- that would have rocketed it the fuck up. Yeah. Uh, I, This is a D. Yeah. Which I think makes it a C, unfortunately. Okay. I can accept this. I'll just scribble Virgin over the top of it. <laughs> Whatever I get <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Carcat and Terezi as Candy Cane. B. Yeah, I don't dislike it. I can accept uh, a, D- a B. Yeah, okay. Sure. Candy Cane gets a B. I can just imagine Terezi licking Carcat all over while insisting it's because they're Candy Canes. <laughs> Fuck. John and Riska as Con Air, like John's class. And because Brisk is a con man, and because con air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. B. And B. Okay, yeah. I'll take B. The one John Frisk ship name we agree on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As with all things Briska is involved in, her ship names generate a lot of discussion. <laughs> Contention. Con. Tension. No. <laughs> uh, Connor gets a B. Carcat and Nepeta as, and I don't know if I can pronounce this in a way that will emphasize this. Cat the Catch. crab. Cat ch. Cat ch the crab. F. Yeah. F. 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 H for if hell. It was- if it wasn't obvious, there's a hyphen between this the T and C of catch. It's F. Catch the crab gets an F. Gamzee and Jane as canna butter. C. Okay, I'm I'm gonna sound real stupid and and real square here for a second. D- is this referring to a cannabis butter? Is that what yes. this is called? Okay, so all right. One of cool. the- one of the big ways you make um, edibles is you you can have weed butter. Right, right. You make you make weed butter. Yeah, yeah. 
I've just never heard it. I've just never heard this specifically used for that. So I'm like, yeah, I think I know what this is, but <laughs> yeah, it had been a long time since I had seen this word. Uh, I don't think I've seen this word specifically. I just okay think about edibles a lot. I don't know. Fair. Yeah, I can. I can. I can. I can take a seat. Okay. Yeah. Can of butter gets a C. Caliborn and Calliope as cherry lining. F. F. D? Explain. I think their colors are a lot more relevant to them and their relationship with each other's colors than, like, any other color ship. Neither of them knows what a cherry limeade is. I mean... I would think Calliope might. Actually, maybe they do. Do you think... Do you think there's the ruins of a Sonic somewhere? Yeah, absolutely. I think Gamzee would find one. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're da- <laughs> Fuck, you're right. You're absolutely <laughs> correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, D. D. That's fine. Cherry Limeade gets a D. I talked you up half a step. Yeah. Dave and Roxy as Apple TV. See? I just like the drink ones more. The, I like the drink ones more. I like the weed ones more. I'm a bad influence on children. This one at least is not just a food one and does have like actual, because Dave has connections to apples through apple juice and Roxy drinks, obviously. Okay. You know what? Sure. See. See. Yeah, I forget that apples are red. Did we and I say? Did we of... say? Did we say this one explicitly? Oh, yes, I don't know. I did. Okay. did. okay, okay, all right. I always forget that uh, apples can be a red thing and not just Dave likes apple juice. I mean, Sam. Also, apples are mostly green for me because I like sour apples. Fair enough. Okay, Apple Teeny gets a C. Jake and Dirk as portal pals. Said this every time. Don't we hate all these portal ones that don't have Roxy in it? Somebody needs to explain to all three of us portals. <laughs> Just the Clearly. concept of portals. The, <laughs> the video game of everything. portals. Clearly we're not thinking with portals because we don't get any of these. Right. I, I don't, I do not understand them. F. F. Is it because, well, I mean, but it's more, they, they associate with Jake more than Dirk. Yeah. In the, uh, in the ship names. Yeah. But Dirk has more association with them than, it's like, Roxy, Dirk, Jake, Jane are the portal association list. I don't know. Bad. F. Mm-hmm. F. Portal Pals gets an F. Jake and Aranea as skulls and spiders. F. Oh, D. I'll give it a D. Why? Because it's technically not technically correct. It's not. It's techni- It's technically right. We do so many technically correct <laughs> as F. That's true. Today has been our mean day. Today has been yeah. very mean. We started off all right. We we've had an S today. Yeah. When it's good, it's good, and when it's bad, it goes to hell. And you're correct, this is bad. So it goes to F. hell, or fell. No, it goes to <laughs> a little bit above hell. We've sent stuff to hell. <laughs> we have. <laughs> John and Dave as windy time. D at most. Yeah, I think F, though. Yeah. D. Okay, I can accept Because again... Again, this feels like somebody is trying to invent a saying that people have never said. Yeah. Windy time gets a D. Maybe if it was windy time, because, like, pocket watches. What if it is windy time? Then, uh, John isn't here. Windy time is a good Dave Dave name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would accept that. Jane and Jake as skull cake. F. What the fuck is a skull cake? Is skull cake a thing? Let's find out. No. 
I mean, not explicitly. People make cakes for Dia de los Muertos and call them skull cakes, but it's like a skull cake is not like an a, a, a thing, really. Is that a yeah. like a, a thing Mexican people do? It's not a traditional thing. It's people just call cakes in the shape of a skull skull cakes. Uh, uh, it's, gotcha. not, it's not. It's not like a tradition thing. Okay, as, as, I was thinking, as far as like, I can I tell know, from a very quick glance. I know there's like the Jesus cake that I forget what that's called, but that's not the, for Dia de los Muertos. The k- king's cake or something like that. The king's cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, this sucks. I think it's an F. It's I just think it's an F. F. He was a he yeah. was a skull. She was a cake. Yeah. Would Prince Cake work for Dirk and Jane, or would that be too many steps away from King's Cake, and also bad? Uh, uh, it wouldn't work well. Anyway, F? F. Skull Cake, he gets an F. Gamzee and Roxy as The Hangover. Uh, cultural context. The Hangover was a movie that came out around that era. Yeah. I forgot about that. Uh, did, did either of you, did either of you watch The Hangover? I haven't. Did not. Yeah, I watched it. Oh, is it relevant? I'm, I'm sitting here trying to think. There was a tiger. Because the whole thing is they lost their memories, like they got roofied or something. They have no idea what happened the night before, and they're trying to piece it together based on the next day. That kind of classic thing. Okay. I could see them doing that together. I could too. And they are the two who would have a hangover. They are Rose could be in here. They are two of the three people who have actually had hangovers, I think. Unless I'm forgetting somebody. Yeah. Um... But I can't, I don't think well, the movie is especially relevant to them. Okay. You could qualify all of the alpha kids as having hangovers. That's true. That's true. Or shit. You right. Right. Yeah, okay. I do okay. have that one Dirk pick of like him with the messy fucking hair after. Anyway. Okay. Uh, What do we think about this one though? D... D. D. Maybe, maybe a C. D. D. Okay. I think the movie just came out and they decided to. Oh, oh, you know who that reminds me of? Yeah. Um, they turned it into a ship name. Okay. Yeah. 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 Uh, Hangover gets a D. Solix and Kanaya as Fashion B. Is Fashion B a thing? I I was also gonna ask. Is it like a spelling bee, but for fashion? No, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking it was like a a a, a phrase or a term for something fashioning, like someone into fashion or something. Like a social butterfly, mm, okay, a wallflower, okay. a fashion bee. Not really. Not that I can see. Okay. It just like clicks something, but I think I was just thinking of social butterfly or something. Um, It's the name of a popular boutique. F? F. 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 Fashion B gets an F. Jade and Carcat as cats with a K and dogs. F. 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 Yeah. Well. Gonna do the McElroy and less? No, D. And here's my logic. Is that, yes, he is cat, she is dog. But they also fight like cats and dogs in in cartoons not really. like these two are at each no. other's throat a very decent portion of the i i mean i don't think so like his first conversation with her is today's or that we see on screen is today's the day you finally fuck up but like jay doesn't really fight with him then the only time they really fight with each other is, is there, I, I think i just have all the password shit in my memory yeah yeah no. They start fighting with each other after Jade fucking loses it in Act 5, Act 2, right? Yeah. Because Jade, but but Jade's fighting with pretty much everyone who isn't John at that point in the comic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Jade okay. fights with herself pretty quickly after. And then yeah. Carcat is mostly trying to smooth things over. Well, future Carcat is. Okay. And it ends up being more of a fight between Carcat and Carcat. 
No, you're right. I just have I just have that that particular instance really heavy in my mind right now. That's fair. Okay, F. Cats and Dogs gets an F. Solix and Roxy as Hacker Time. B. B. Okay, explain this to me. I don't know where time comes in here, but I still liked it. I don't know. I just like went with B before I thought about the time. It's a it's a it's a it's a pun on Hammer Time. Mm. Yeah, but I think that uh, I guess there's no. I don't know. I just feel like a time person should be in here. I'm walking back my B down to a C. I don't think this makes any sense. I mean, they're both hackers, right? But you can do more compelling shit with that than just hacker time. You absolutely can, but it pleased me. You you can at a gut reaction level, and so it gets a C. I say D. Was the movie Hackers out? Probably. Wasn't that early 2000s or late 90s? I don't know. D. Hacker Time gets a D. I still need to watch that. Hack the planet. Aridin and Roxy as Together Alone. I don't get it. Like, they're both... No? I think... They have other things in common. You could argue that Roxy is the incel of her session. Yeah, you could. <laughs> you could. You could. You could make oh a my really... god, you're right, you're right. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Put Cronus in here, though. Uh, okay, what do you, what do you think? <laughs> the incel um, things got it up to an A for me. Okay, oh, fair damn. enough. I'd say a B. Okay. All right. Together alone gets a B. (laughs) Roxy is the insult. (laughs) (laughs) Carcat and Dave as penis Ouija. Hold on. on Ouija? Ouija? How do you you even say this fucking word? I say Ouija. Okay. Okay. Sorry. What are we? Penis Ouija. Yeah. Hey. Sure. Yeah. No, if you say I ship penis Ouija, I know who you mean. <laughs> I can't imagine it meaning anything else. <laughs> like, I know who you mean, even if you say this outside of a specifically Homestuck context, right? I think if you say this outside yeah, of... Yeah, a- you could say that. If you say penis Ouija anywhere, you don't have to say <laughs> shipping or anything. You're thinking of Dave Cat. We found it. We found the yeah, Dave found Cat it. ship name. <laughs> Pepsi Cola, communism, and penis Ouija. Yeah. And that that's an equivalently cursed set, I think. <laughs> right. I think that sounds like a fun night. <laughs> uh, um, okay. We have been going for two and a half hours. We didn't rate okay. it. We didn't rate it. What, Penis Ouija? It's an S, obviously. Oh, yeah. Okay, S, good. S, Penis Ouija gets an S. So, uh, we totally forgot to record an outro. We just hit the two and a half hour mark and said, okay, that's enough for tonight. So, anyway, uh, follow Justin on Blue Sky. He is Tensei Dragon. Follow Domi on SoundCloud, Domino Thief, and check out her Kofi at Domino Thief. I know I talk a lot about give me money for the Kofi so I can pay Domi more, but you can also just cut out the middleman and just pay Domi directly. <laughs> um, if you do still want to pay me, it's Kofi.com slash JaxYax, and uh, you can do a, a one-time little donation. Just say, hey, thanks. Or you can subscribe for as little as $1 a month to get bonus episodes and early content and, you know, higher tiers, higher rewards. Typical. And uh, join the Discord. Come say hi. Uh, like I said, I keep forgetting to say, but I have an email. jacksyax at, at gmail.com, like I said at the beginning. Come check out the live show. It's going to be fun. I'm excited for all of us to get together. And uh, I don't say it enough, but there is a form in the show notes to fill out if you have a homestuck project that you want to come talk about or if you have some shit to say about uh, problematic homestuck characters what counts as a problematic homestuck character is up to you 
We've had Jake. We've had Zebedee. We've had Kinkry, you know? So so come come on and talk about shit. And I also don't say this enough. I It always feels like, well, you know, if you like it, you'll share it. But apparently statistics show that if you ask people to share your podcast or, or whatever, they're more likely to share it. So if you know someone who wants to listen to a Homestuck podcast or might enjoy one, and you like mine, <laughs> you know, share it with a friend. That's uh, word of mouth is how we do it. You know, this is a, a really tiny niche Homestuck podcast. The All the advertising I do is just, you know, we're blogging shit on Tumblr or, or tweeting on Twitter or whatever. So, you know, um, share it around. Anyway, thank you for listening. And now it's time for the pre-recorded outro. Thank you to Dami for composing the theme song and editing the episode. You can find more of her work at soundcloud.com slash domino thief. Shout out to our fakest fan tier supporters, Danny the Spoon Lord and Tezrak. You can become a supporter and receive early episodes and bonus content for as little as $1 a month over at ko-fi.com slash jacksyaks or simply give a one-time tip. For information on and links to my other projects, head over to jacksyaks.com. Thanks again for listening.